That dot stopped for a split second. This black paster is the icon on your computer, right? When you're bringing your mouse cursor over to an icon, do you stare at the mouse cursor? If you do, if you do you're a weirdo. Like, sorry. <laughs> you, no, nobody does. You, you look at it and you drag it over and it lands right on it, right? So our eyes guide the gun to where it's going to index. If my eyes start looking at other spots, that gives that gun that ability to index. Now, when we're talking about visual connection to the target, it really needs to be that small of a spot. That's why I put that black paster, right? You can be focused on that black paster, but also be spread apart, right? Let's make this like a, uh, a grapefruit size, right? I'm focused on it, but I'm also can see the rest around it. By doing that, that allows the gun to range within that span of focus, right? So when I'm trying to shoot difficult shots, I'm picking a very small spot because that will give the gun the most precision to return to that spot, right? Regardless of how complex or uncomplex the target is, I'm always trying to pick small spots like this. So when I make a little bit of a mistake, it doesn't show as much, right? Like if I let the gun have this much free range to move, I don't know where it's gonna return. And then if I add a little input to it, well, now that's a Charlie, right? If I keep my focus very tight here and the gun returns here and then I add some input to it, well, it's still an alpha, right? Set yourself up for success by giving the visual connection to the target to guide the gun to get it there. And then obviously we're ultimately questing to not add input, right? But we understand that like life does happen. Stress is a thing and we subconsciously do dumb shit, right? So we can really affect the way that whole result and outcome is by picking small spots. And we'll talk more about this later on. But as we're doing this, this is very important to get the gun to return correctly, all right? Need to look past my dot so I'm aware of what it's doing, but I'm not staring at it. Does that make sense? So I'll start in the trigger guard. That landed right on the return of the corner right here, okay? I'm gonna be super nitpicky with myself. Right now, if you guys are doing that, I'll say, yeah, dude, fuck yeah, right? I want it right back here. Cause I know here at five yards, fine. At 15, 25 yards, that same mistake looks further and further away, right? So as we're closer in, we wanna really start not giving ourselves the leeway, give yourself the opportunity to really correct that. So make sure it falls or requesting for it to fall right back in that. All right, so what was that? A slight uh, visual discipline issue. Slight, like do the slightest bit, right? So then we have to start thinking about when we're doing this, is it visual connection or is it grip and tension? I don't fucking know. You're, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself, right? And I will help you do that.